Hi and welcome to another video by Angry Admin from AngrySysOps.com. Today we are going to talk about an issue that I faced recently while trying to patch my ESXi clusters. I realized that Computer Manager suddenly disappeared, which left me puzzled. My clusters are managed by image. I, I changed from baseline to image and I wrote article how to do it, which I will link down below the video if you want to do the same. And once I tried to remediate the cluster, I received an error message that pre-checked fail to run half check for NSXT. That when I opened an NSXT instance and went to the systems and fabric section only to find out that the compute manager was empty. There was nothing there, uh, which was quite surprising. So I tried to add compute manager, but I received another message saying that the compute manager I'm trying to add is already registered. Um, it was quite surprising. And to be honest with you, I didn't know what to do next. So I opened the ticket with VMware support and spoke to NSXT support. We ran few API commands and now I will show you how we resolved the issue. Let's have a look. The one more thing I would like to mention, just for clarity, I used Postman to send API calls. So just call this Post API. This is Post API. Uh -huh. And you have to add this in the payload. Just copy yeah. this API endpoint here. Yeah. I think we did that before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, body, then just uh, click on raw, raw, uh -huh. and JSON. Yeah, uh, just uh, huh. show me the payload one. You have added your uh, proper uh, uh, username password, right? We see yeah. username. Okay, and in URI, I think there is character at the end. URI, uh, URL, in post uh, URL. Where is it? I can see. In URL, URL, I think. Here. Last, last character, right? Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yes, 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 yes. Ah, can you just now do send? Okay, that's what I would say. Ah, do... Just check for username, password of your VC. No, that's, that's, that's the correct password. Okay, okay, fine. Uh, and sending uh, back. yeah now check for your uh, status now we'll check again once so uh, apiv1 fabric compute manager this one uh -huh, the first one yeah yeah this one let me yeah. do it again yeah no. this one. yeah get call i have you yeah get call uh -huh. Oh, V1, okay. What was the V1, yeah? Yeah. Slash. And last character. Just uh -huh. that. Huh. Now do send. Yeah, now ah, it's so okay. registered. Yeah, it's clear. It will get cleared in few minutes. So now your status is up. You can see that. Connection status is up. This error yes. will clear up in few minutes. Okay, so you again do, huh? Yeah, let's go to the UI. So can we see here? Yeah, just say refresh there or below there. Okay, no issues. That refresh will also.
Uh, could you please refresh the grid? Uh, there is a below the grid refresh button. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, and uh, so this is the uh, uh, VIP, right? Uh, no, uh, NSX. This is this is called this is the the, the, the first node. Okay, but can we quickly check uh, on the uh, second and third node if it is showing the same thing? Sure. Uh, okay, so what do you want to open what? Uh, no, uh, on the NSX. Uh, on the uh, NSX. Yeah. Okay. yeah, right, right. Just uh, right click somewhere uh, on the uh, uh, in the UI uh, on the uh, NSX UI basically. Yeah, here in, and do the inspect uh, right last uh, option. Uh -huh. Yeah, and if you can go to the network call uh, uh -huh. at the top. Yeah, right, right. Thanks. Yeah, now just uh, do the grid refresh here. Uh, the below refresh button in the grid uh, compute uh -huh. manager grid on the NSX UI. Yeah, uh, can you open that search? Can you click on the right side? There is a search facade network huh? call, last one. Okay, uh, can you go to the headers? To where? Uh, headers, uh, there is a... Uh, on headers, the, okay. Yeah, on the right side, uh, like on the search facade, there is another pane there uh, in the right side. Yeah, just go below. Yeah, I need to see the request payload. Okay, aggregated data. So you have to copy? Uh, yeah, or you can just expand that uh, last option there. Get aggregated data. And the primary one. Yeah, it's okay, yeah, just expand that primary one. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, there is no filter. Can we go to this uh, node uh, uh, from the, uh, by doing SSH? I want to check uh, some logs. So you want to go as a root? Root, yes. yes. Paste, uh, yeah, start, uh, maybe I'll type it, the command. Yeah, please. Thank you. And just give me a minute. Yeah, yeah, no worries, thank you. Yeah, uh, can we, uh, like it It might take a couple of minutes, can we go to the logs in the tail uh, hyphen F mode? Oh, we need to go back to a root user. Okay, uh, can we go back to the uh, uh, this, uh, UI, yes, for this specific yeah. node, uh, zero 01 node, I think we ran, yeah. ran the company. Yeah, 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 we are also sure. okay. By the way, all the API calls and the commands will be uh, listed in my blog entry, which I will link in the video description. Let's go to the system and the compute manager screen. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Correct. Yeah. So we need to run this command on all the three nodes, and uh, let's collect the logs. I'll check why it was not present earlier. But just to unblock, like let's run this command uh, on all three nodes. Okay. Okay. Uh, so just a resync, yes, command. Uh, right. Right. It just uh, resyncs the data between the core flow and the search. So there you have it, guys. Uh, let's summarize uh, to fix the problem to fix the issue with uh, disappearing computer manager you have to run this api call uh, error dash resolver question mark actions equal resolve underscore error and the body of uh, that call all those information i will provide in the block entry which i will link in the video description so this is the first step, run this error resolver. And the second step is to run sync inventory. Those two things will solve your problem. If you are facing similar problem with your NSXT, I hope that video help you to resolve it. That's all for today's video. I hope you found this helpful and informative. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to Angry Admin and read my blog at angrysysops.com for more content like this. Thank you for watching.